Good day, grade 8 students. Welcome to our music class. I am super excited to have you here. Excited about our discussion and lesson we have lined up for you. By the way, I am Mam Cha from Valenzuela National High School, your teacher facilitator for today. Our lesson will be all about the continuation of music of Southeast Asia. But before that, be reminded of our online class at selected Southeast Asian music and four performs music from Southeast Asia with home accompaniment. Before we formally begin our lesson, let's have this activity guess what? Just by looking at each picture, try to guess the instrument's classification. Once the picture is revealed, you will be given 10 seconds to type your answers on the chat box. Try to remember the Horpostal Sack classification of instruments that you learn in grade 7. Is the instrument an example of airphone, cordophone, hydrophone, membranophone, or electrophone? Let's begin. Instrument number 1. Very good. The answer is Hydrophone. Instrument number two. You've got it right. It is an earphone instrument. Let's proceed to an instrument number two. is the answer. Let's have instrument number four. That's right! It is a kind of portable instrument. Let's have another activity so that you will have more on what is our lesson for today. All you need to do is identify if the music you heard is a vocal or instrumental music. If it is a vocal music, click the wow red button. And if it is an instrumental music, click the heart react button. Let's start! Music number one.
Very good! The music I heard is an example of instrumental music. Let's proceed to music number two. Good job, students! That is an example of vocal music. Let's have music number four. If you hold the wow reaction, that is absolutely correct. It is an example of vocal music. Now, can you recall the difference between vocal and instrumental music? Based on the activity I have given you, vocal music is made specifically for voices. It can be performed with or without instruments. While instrumental music is made solely for instruments. Now, let me ask you, what are the instruments you can play? Can you play the piano, guitar, drums? Whatever it is, the sound you can produce in playing is an example of instrumental music. What are the songs you can sing? Whatever it is, it is an example of vocal music. What do you think is our lesson for today? Yes, you're right. Our discussion will focus on the instrumental music of Southeast Asian countries. Since the topic Southeast Asia, vocal music has been discussed to you last session. Before we explore the countries in Southeast Asia, I want you to meet my friend, Noti. She will join us in our exploration today. Let's go! Our discussion will focus on three countries. And our first destination, Indonesia. The Gamelan or Gamelan Orchestra is the most popular form of music in Indonesia. There are many types of Gamelan, but the famous Javanese and Balinese gamelan are the most famous. Let's get to know more about this too. Javanese gamelan is used for court music, and this in song is percussion dominated. While Balinese gamelan is used for sacred music, and it consists of metallic phones and mostly gongs, uses fast and rattling sounds of cymbals. To sum it up, the instruments of Indonesian music and song are consist of variety of instruments such as metallophones, xylophones, kendang and gongs, bump boots, bowed and clock strings. Next on our list is Malaysia. Malaysian music is largely based around percussion instruments. 
it has multicultural influence and is believed to have originated in the Kelantan Batani region with a mixture of Indian, Chinese, Thai, and Indonesian influences. Musical instruments of Malaysia are greatly associated with their culture and roots. Due to colonization, the stages of development of Malaysian instruments are great. They share some common features with Indian musical instruments. After the colonization of Malaysia by the British, the musical development was influenced by Western music. First, on our list of instruments in Malaysia is Agungke Kulinta. This is a gong based musical and song commonly used in funerals and weddings in East Malaysia. This type of end song is similar to the Kulintang of the Philippines, Brunei, and Indonesia. Lastly, we have Kerto. Kerto is a musical end song from the Malay Peninsula that consists of xylophones played swiftly and rhythmically in traditional Malay functions. Both Indonesia and Malaysia have instrumental and song. Have you noticed that these musical performances are used in different manners in their culture? They have a specific type of music for festivals, religious events, weddings, and funerals. Do you think the other countries have this too? Do they use instrumental and vocal music for their cultural or religious events? Let's keep on exploring students. Now, for our last destination, we have Vietnam. Vietnamese music shows signs of Indian influences, noticeable in improvisation preludes of chamber music, known as Rao in the South and Dao in the North, as well as usage of onomatopoeia in drum playing. This can be seen in some popular Vietnamese music like Imperial Court Music, the Nana, that was popularly performed during the Tran Dynasty to the Nguyen Dynasty and performed in honor of the gods and scholars in temples. Daina, or Great Music, and the Thu Nak, or Small Music, which was performed as chamber music for the king. We also have folk music in Vietnamese music and religious and ceremonial music. And that's Southeast Asian music. Isn't it amazing how rich their culture is? It looks like most of the countries in the Southeast Asia have a lot of similarities in their musical instruments and types of music performed. Their musical influences are similar to one another as well. It is now time for us to listen to some of Southeast Asian music. Familiarize yourselves in the different instruments on the clips and what musical and song do they belong. Let's have again no tea to play the songs for us. It's time to 
check what you have learned from our discussion. In a form of a acrostic poem, write words that describe or can be associated with Southeast Asian music. It must start with the letter spelling out Southeast Asia. Once you are done, submit it to your subject pictures. Before I will give you your assignment, let's have an activity. Please get your pen and paper, and on a sheet of paper, write the country which is associated with the following word. Are you done? Let's now check your answers. Refer to this answer key. 1. Malaysia 2. Vietnam 3. Indonesia 4. Malaysia and 5. Malaysia Click the heart react button if you got all correct answers. But if not, that's okay. We will try again on our follow-up discussion next time. For your additional task, you will do the activity entitled, Sing It, Move It. You will choose one song from Southeast Asian music and you will sing and record it through a video using your cell phone. Enhance your performance with the use of improvised musical instruments as a component and incorporate body movements. Here is the rubrics as your guide. Let's have a good note to play the sample songs for us.
its power lesson in Southeast Asian music. It is truly a proud moment for us Asian people to have this unique kind of culture and music. Let's all continue to study about it and cultivate what we learn and will learn soon. Once again, this is Mom Cha, your music teacher and our friend, Noki. Always remember what Plato said, Music is the movement of sound to reach the soul for the education of its virtue. See you all next time. Stay safe, everyone. Good day.